वेलकम गाइस सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कोरे फुक्स रिएक्शन सो एज यू कैन सी कोरे फुक्स रिएक्शन इज द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ एन एल्डिहाइड टू एन एल्काइन टर्मिनल एल्काइन सो रिएजेंट्स यूज्ड इन दिस रिएक्शंस आर ट्राइफिनाइल फॉस्फिन टेट्रा ब्रोमोमीथेन in first step and in the second case after formation of this alkene we treat it with uh, butyl lithium followed by hydro uh, hydrolysis will give this product okay so let us discuss the mechanism of this reaction so as you can see this is the structure of tetra bromomethane now in tetra bromomethane um when we treat this tetra bromomethane with triphenyl phosphine which is an nucleophile because there are there are lone there is a lone pair on phosphorus atom of triphenyl phosphine it can attack to any electrophile el electrophilic center so in this case there are two electrophilic centers uh, one is this carbon atom and another is this bromine so it can attack here or it can attack here but um as you can see this is a quaternary carbon okay so due to presence of this bulky bromine atoms the attack of phosphine on this carbon center is not possible this is sterically very much hindered so instead instead it can attack the lumo of this cbr bond which there are two lumos one is one is over here and another is one over here so it can either attack to this lumo or this lumo but attack on this lumo is not favorable in terms of steric factor because there are three bulky bromine atoms so it can attack here and this will create this uh this carbanion which is stabilized due to the electron withdrawing group inductive electron withdrawing group of withdrawing effect of this of these bromine atoms and this cat this phospho phos this phosphorus cation will be generated okay now what will happen in the next step is that this carbanion now can attack to this positive phosphorus center and this this displace this bromine atom broma as bromide so we will get this species and this bromide now now what can happen in the reaction medium there are many phosphine molecules so one of the phosphine molecule can also attack one of the phosphine molecule can also attack another bromine atom of this species and this bond will go there and this species will be generated with that again this this species this phosphorus cation will be generated which is which is the same these two are same so in this way in this step this is again generated and this can again be attracted attacked by this species to give this and this is a this is like a cyclic process okay so we get this alkene as this in the first step which we will get this alkene okay now what happens uh, now when we 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 treat this alkene with the aldehyde okay when we treat this alkene with the aldehyde what will happen we have to recall the reaction like this uh here this reaction may be so here the reaction may be like this this will attack the phosphorus atom and this bond will attack this may be a concerted process or this may be a single step process like uh, this we can consider this as an elite okay we can consider this as an elite what i am trying to say saying that this we can represent as elite also okay so this may be an elide this this is this exist in these two forms so this elide 
by its negative end it can attack to this positive center of the carbonyl or this may be a concerted reaction to give this one this oxaphosphatidine intermediate okay and then this oxaphosphatidine intermediate will collapse like this to form this phosphine oxide and this alkene okay so so in this case this phosphine oxide will be formed this is the driving force for this reaction to happen because this is very strong po bond for forming here this is the driving force why it is forming so now we have this alkene this alkene in our hand okay so the next step is treatment of this with butyl lithium so it may be like that it may be like that this butyl but, butyl lithium the negative end that is buta, butyl minus anion this can attack to this hydrogen and this will come here and this is anti peri by going with anti periplanar transition state it can give this alkyne okay what will happen in next we will see later there may be another mechanism that is we can we also we know that uh, the but, butyl anion can attack either hydrogen as we showed here or it can also attack the bromine okay it can also attack the bromine to give this carbanion okay and we which we can represent like this covalent bond also but what will happen next that this bromine can be removed it can remove from the molecule to form this uh, from this car carbene carbene intermediate now from this carbene intermediate um, carbene from, from this carbene intermediate it may happen that at first the hydrogen the hydrogen is migrated over here to give this carbanion and then sorry at first this hydrogen may migrate here to give this carbon this uh, species positive and negatively charged separ separate species like an elite you can say it an elite and then this charge goes here to give this alkyne or it may be like that this is a concerted this process may also be concerted okay so it may be like that this hydride can shift in a single step and this go goes here to give this alkyne so this this is the product this is the product we will get out of core fuchs reaction so this is the whole mechanism of the reaction now we will see what other mechanisms are proposed for this reaction so before discussing the other possibility of mechanism we would also like to say that uh, this bromide this bromide which is uh, removed in the step where this is attacking over the first first attack of this phosphine over this tetrabromomethane one bromine is removed and this can this can also attack in over there we showed earlier that phosphine were attacking here but this bromide can also attack here to give this and bromine molecule this is this is also this is also a proposed mechanism okay and also this bromide can attack over here to form this unwanted by product this is also proposed and another possible pathway may be this butyl lithium which we showed earlier that that this was forming over there by the elimination reaction of this hydrogen atom and this anti periplanar groups so next what will happen we can get this product also from here by treating it with butyl lithium what will happen that butyl minus will attack here to give this carbanion this carbanion will be stable stabilized because this is sp this is sp carbon okay so it can stabilize a negative charge and after that we when we will treat, treat with acid water we will get our desired product so this is the whole mechanism of the reaction to give the to give the uh, alkyne product terminal alkyne product so this is the core fuchs reaction 
this is very important reaction for any competitive reaction like net csir net gate exam or other exams or it is very important in terms of mechanistic point of view because there are so many factors we have to be considered here okay so you can we, you, you can learn a lot many things from this reaction and so this is the whole mechanism we have showed you so by this mechanism we, we will get this product okay so this is the whole story hope you guys enjoys my video if you like it then please give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and also subscribe my channel for getting latest updates thank you